I wrote out, 40 months ago, Sandra, my dedication to you and our relationship. The poem? The poem? Yes, of course the poem. So? Go get it. No. Go get it, please. I want to read it to you. I don't have it. Where is it? I don't have it anymore. You packed it already? No. Where is it? I don't have it. What did you do with it, Sandra? I sold it. For millions. To Ted Hughes. <laughs> Who especially liked the part about your favorite pair of my blue jeans. You are a real bitch, you know. <laughs> I know, Jess, and I'm sorry. So make it up to me. Oh, what do you want? I have plans for us tonight. What are they, Jess? Why the contempt? I did, Jess. I have been packing all day. I leave in 20 hours to drive another 16. I'm moving, you know. I know. I still have not figured out why. You do not know anything about that town. That's the appeal. It gets cold in San Francisco. I know that, Jess. You must not. I hate the cold. <laughs> I do not. Yes, you do. You do not even know me, Jess. I don't know you. Almost four years we have been dating, and I don't know you. No, Jess, you do not. You hate cold weather. I know that. No, Jess, I do not. You do too. You hardly leave the house once winter hits. Stop arguing with me about this. You are lying. Look, Jess. You do not know me because I refuse to let you know me. If you think I hate the cold and that I hardly leave the house in winter time, that just proves how little you know and how foolishly content you have been hiding in the dark. You hate the cold. Jess, stop talking. I have plans for us tonight. What are they, Jess? You can be so close-minded sometimes that I... I am not close-minded. Jess, stop attacking me. I am not, Sandra. I am sorry. I love you. <sighs> and do not say that. It is true. I do not want to hear it. I am leaving in 20 hours. I have plans for us tonight. What are they, Jess? I want you to consider it. Talk. Okay, I went to Joseph's end. Jess, that is trouble already. It is not trouble, Sandra. It is fun. Hear me. Talk. AC? Jess. What? Acid? Yeah. As an LSD? Yeah. Oh, God. Do you not have some Xanax or something? Yeah, I have some Xanax. If you want this weekend to be the same as every other. It does not matter what kind of drug we do, this weekend is not going to be the same as every other. I am leaving in 20 hours. What is the matter with you, Sandra? I am trying to wish you a happy farewell, and you opt for Xanax over acid. Why don't I just go to Texaco and get a six-pack of Bud Light? <laughs> oh, God. You are so sensitive, Jess. So you are not going to do it? That was really hard for me to get. I want you to know. I do not understand your intentions, Jess. You want to be my boyfriend again? You cannot. No, that is not what I want. You sure? Of course, that is what I want. Then there is no way I am going to do it. No way, Jess. No way. That is not what I meant. I am not doing this to be your boyfriend again. I promise. I want you to have a fun last night at home. That is all I want for you. A happy farewell. But you are still not my boyfriend. Right. I know. Not even for tonight. Okay. Okay? I know I am not your boyfriend. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> oh, yes. That hurts. Sorry. Talk to me, Sandra. Why? I just want to hear you. What do you want me to say? There's plenty to say, I'm sure. Just talk. I don't want to. Sandra, your fingers are bleeding. Are they? Yeah, they're bleeding everywhere. I'm too soft to bleed. Well, you're bleeding all right. Stop. It's okay, Jess. Aren't you having fun? I am Jess. Yes. Please. Oh, Jess. Please stop. That hurts. Sorry. I can't feel a thing. Well, I can feel everything, and it hurts. I am sorry. Have you ever heard of people jumping off buildings when they are on acid? Yeah. I don't feel like doing anything like that. Me either. Have you ever heard of acid trips that last a lifetime? No. Well, there have been cases where people take acid once and they don't get over it until they die. And in other cases it doesn't last forever, but it can last for a year or more. Sometimes they can last for twenty. That is a lie. No, it's not, Sandra. I don't believe it anyway. I wouldn't lie to you. I learned this in my freshman health class. Maybe they lied to you. It could happen, Sandra. It could even happen to one of us. <laughs> okay, Jess. It could happen to me. Don't panic, Jess. I just think you should know that it's a possibility. This is why they tell people to do acid with a group or at least with one other person. Did you learn that in freshman health too? No. I wish you wouldn't go, Sandra. I am all Jess. I love you. Okay. I want you to stay for the right reasons. Please don't bless them. I'm more capable of making you happy than anyone. Stop. I've been saving half of my paycheck for the last three years. Oh, God. For us. I have almost $4,000. Please don't talk about that. I'm really happy right now. A lifetime trip might be okay. What do you think, Sandra? Sandra? Good morning. What fun. I hope I am not still running low on ways to keep you here. There are none. I wanted to stay and wake you up and give myself the chance to feel what I have pretending for so long. I was going to say that I love you. So say it. I'm leaving. Why? Why? Because you can't offer me anything that I'm not capable of giving myself. That's not true. They are anatomical, they are manufactured, they are all kinds of substitutes for all the things you think you provide me. That's not true. I'm leaving. You can't. You can't. If you leave, Sandra, I'll be nothing to you. I'll become nothing. I'll just be some guy named Jess North of all dust, huh? and that's all I'll be. I can't take that. I really can't take that, Sandra. I'm leaving. You can't. You're not. Please, Sandra. Uh, colors still have echoes. I'm sorry. And the walls. The walls are still beating in on me. You have to stay until I'm done. This drug is still in my body. I'm sorry. What if? I'll jump off a building, Sandra. I swear to God. I'll do something crazy. I'll fucking shoot myself. Don't leave me. I have to go. I have to go.